there have been recent concerns about uh, the mention about the smart watch you know the uh, uh, radio signals and uh, uh, which uh, enter the skin from that side uh, there are some people who say that it could result in parkinson's problem as well so there are some people who are advising that we should not be wearing uh, this watch continuously yes you wear it but not continuously how far are these uh, concerns uh, you must, if you look at the if you look at the smart watch i don't think it uses electromagnetic waves it is optical sensors they are not okay. harmful uh -huh. and the only thing what it does when you transmit the data to console then it uses electromagnetic waves okay and you don't do it uh, every minute we do it uh, maybe in the evening or things like that so okay. it's not at all hard i have been using it for last 10 years okay nothing and i'm sure yeah, i don't you. have parkinson's or dementia yet right so the on the human body yes actually uh, one of the main concerns why people don't go for electromagnetic waves for the uh, biomedical application is radiation problem and they think that if you cause cancer but here we are using very low power low intensity which is not harmful at all if you talk of you know in russia they use kilowatts megawatts uh, power to basically uh, you know uh, harm people uh, embassies have those kind of radars in there but here we are talking of microwatts it is uh, negligible much more than that you get from mobiles okay the low power device yeah very low power now uh, when you are talking about the cancer and rf yes uh, because i am also a broadcast engineer Yes. So, what happens when we are putting these FM transmitters and all that during my job? Also, there was a problem. Now, what is happening? Whenever anybody is coming in our society to put a antenna for this uh, mobile people, yeah, there will be complete gathering. You know, thousand people will gather. They will make the huge board, and they will say this will. And some people, two or three people, will tell others that you will get cancer if this tower is there. So yeah. I also tried to convince them, and I told them, "Look, my dear, the level is very small. Even we can ask the company to measure the level, and it will not harm. But you know, the you know, once the once this thing goes in their mind, and then it is very difficult to convince. So they remove the antenna from our society. Yes. So what what will you say in that? Yeah. You see, uh, you, you must be uh, knowing uh, my colleague Professor Girish Kumar from IIT Bombay. Yes, yeah, come on TV along with actresses. He's always, uh, been, he's always been, been saying that there are harmful effects of electromagnetic. Now the issue is that whenever, the issue is that whenever you have these towers, and, uh, and uh, you know there is one antenna today, there is another antenna, there is another antenna, and they are high power. They are not low power. So what you need to do, you need to actually have a regulatory body who can actually measure. What is the specific absorption rate? Is called SAR towards the human body. Unless you have that data, you cannot convince people. Yeah, because the general thing is that you know, it's radiating. I'll get cancer. So, so you know, exactly. But when I was in job and when we were putting these FM transmitters all over India, at many places I got the report in headquarters that sir, people are not allowing our uh, TV tower. Which is about 50, 60 meter, and then we had to you know go, go to the uh, authorities and then convince them. And so this type of RF problem and uh, this cancer problem and all that, even I have worked in megawatt also. Yeah. Of course, megawatt transmitter, and there of course I agree that uh, RF was tremendous. But again, yes. at low frequency. See, there are two things: <coughs> frequency, another is power. So if if one is very high, other is very very low. I think it is not it will not affect. Uh, but yes. when both so are there, then the yes, problem sir. will come. So basic, yeah. so basic thing is you have to educate people. You know, let me tell you one thing. All of us use uh, mobile phones. No data is available on what kind of antenna it has, how it radiates, and we measured it. It radiates omni. That is, it radiates equal amount of energy towards the base station towards us. So that's why we took a lot of research. We did. We developed an antenna which can be pasted on the mobile, which only radiates maximum power towards base station, very, very little power towards you. So you have to document this and show to people physically. Yes, that is true, sir. Because unfortunately, electromagnetic waves are there, you know, in the air. You can't convince a commoner. So you have to generate data and show.
that with great difficulty I could get one antenna from one company and when they came and they wanted to put the antenna, the whole society was against it. So, sir, similar things if you read some of the uh, magazine articles for the 5G deployment in US. So, they set up a link and uh, they found uh, after some time the birds uh, were dead. So, whether it is because of 5G or it is because of the bird, you and cry that uh, 5G will destroy birds. So, you don't have any documented, but high power definitely is harm. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, there's something I would like to add here, you know, uh, what Shiban Ji mentioned about uh, the birds falling dead. It was definitely a lobby, <coughs> sorry, who didn't want 5G to be implemented immediately. They wanted to uh, take out the full juice out of 4G. But at the same time, what uh, uh, he also mentioned about uh, the, uh, Professor Girish, Kumar's uh, research in Mumbai, there have been cases because, uh, you know, these uh, telecom tower people, they don't uh, care. They put, uh, you know, antennas at random and it was found that uh, the houses which were on the opposite side of the antenna at the same level, most of these people uh, suffered from cancer. So we have we have to follow a middle path because it's not low frequency as you rightly put it. It's microwave frequency. So that is a big challenge.